A California startup is testing a new self-driving bus. Gary Gastelow is in Times Square, New York City, where they're doing the testing. Gary, why would anybody pick Times Square to do a test like that? Stuart, you know I love driving. I don't love driving in New York City, so this is actually the perfect place for this kind of vehicle. At least that's what the company Coast Autonomous wants you to think. I'm here right now with Rick Baker. He is the former mayor of St. Petersburg, Florida. He's now the company's advisor on urban deployment. Uh, we're going to be heading down here now for a little demo ride right now. Uh, tens of Welcome billions aboard. Of dollars. Thank you very much. <laughs> tens of billions of dollars being spent on this technology that's by right. Uber, right. Waymo, all these right. companies. What, what's a little startup got to bring to the table? Well, we're in a different niche, right? They're, they're, they're in the niche of high-speed technology. They're, they're trying to go 40, 50, 60 miles an hour. We're in a low-speed shuttle technology. So by going slower, you have the ability to, first of all, recognize things quicker, yet more, more reaction time as you're going down the road, and also you can stop quicker. And so that, that, that makes it so we don't have to quite spend the same amount of money on sensor development, and also that we can get deployed quicker. So as a car buyer, I'm not going to buy this. No. As someone who lives in a city on a campus, I'm going to ride on this. And that's, that's exactly right. You might be on a college campus, in a business park, in a downtown, in an airport. That's the, kind of, that's the kind of places you'll see this vehicle. And are you going to sell those places the vehicle, or are you going to provide them a service uh, like our, an alternative? We're, we're gonna, we're gonna, our, our intention is to provide them with the service. So we'll operate the service, and we'll get compensated based on operating the service for them. This is not an app or a smartphone. This is a high-risk endeavor. That's one exactly mistake, right. one fatal mistake, and you're that's out exactly of business. Right. That's exactly How do you right. make your investors feel good about putting their money in a company like this? Well, what steps have you taken to make sure that you can avoid those problems? To start out with just the very definition of that we're a low-speed technology, means that 20 miles an hour, you're less risk of in, in, in getting into an accident. You're also going to be able to see and react to people quicker or anything quicker, any any obstacle. And we have a fail safe. Our, our, under our technology, if there is an obstacle on the road, it stops. The default is to stop, not to try to figure it out, but to stop. So we're, safety is a very important thing. This is a prototype. How long before we see one in operation? We think within, you know, by next year at some point, we think we could be in operation. We could be deployed at, at least at a pilot project next year. Stuart, the reason companies are interested in this is this seat right here. Instead of a driver you have to pay, you've got a paying customer, maybe more than one. We don't mind squeezing in here. In here. <laughs> Fascinating stuff. Thanks for a great story there, Gary. We appreciate it. And we'll uh, be back to it. We'll have more on that, I'm sure.